and welcome back to another episode. In this video, I just kind of want to go through a new commercial I've seen from Burger King of all people, um, in which Burger King talks about net neutrality and actually actually tries to make an argument for net neutrality um, for some reason, although we'll get into that in a second. There's a few angles to this and I just find it really interesting. So the video, I know which I'm going to link to below is called Whopper Neutrality and it already has over 3 million views. I think it's only been out for um, two days. Basically the, the what the commercial does is people go into um, a Burger King after Whopper Neutrality has been repealed, which of course was never a thing. And they find out that because Burger King wants to, to sell more chicken sandwiches, they've decided to create a tier structure for their Whoppers. So if you pay $26, you get your Whopper really fast. If you only pay $4.99, you might, it might take 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And of course the customers who come in, well, here's their, their pricing structure, are obviously really pissed off about this. And Burger King is trying to offer this as an analogy to the to net neutrality being repealed. This is wrong or just doesn't make sense on so many different levels. Um, the first question I would have or the first observation I would make is that there never has been a, a Whopper neutrality. Um, all burger companies, all restaurants can charge anything they want to um, for their burgers or their drinks or fries or anything else. So why doesn't Burger King do this right now? And the reason for that, and the thing that the people who freak out about net neutrality tend to forget, is that the customer uh, or the consumer has a lot of power. If you go into a Burger King and you just want a hamburger and they say it's going to be 20 minutes to get if you're going to pay $4.99, but you can get it right away for $26, most people, like even the people in this ad, are, are probably going to be pissed off and they're just going to go to another burger restaurant that, you know, that, that doesn't do this. Obviously, Burger King has a, a great desire of their own self-interest to make their customers happy. And if you're doing this and making people's life more difficult, no one's going to do it. This is why you don't need burger neutrality rules and why in fact you don't really need net neutrality rules either. I mean again the net neutrality rules that they're talking about didn't come in until um, 2015 and I've, I've made a whole other video. I don't want to get into the details of net neutrality because I've already made um, two or three videos on it. I just really want to focus on this one commercial and what I think Burger King is up to. Um, another observation I would make, though, is that Burger King um, already charges different prices for their products, as they should be allowed to do. So if you want to buy a smaller burger, for example, you pay less. If you want to buy a triple-decker Whopper, um, they, charge you, they charge you more for that. And so if you're allowed to charge different, if a restaurant is allowed to charge different products, why shouldn't a, you know, an, an ISP? Now, uh, again, I don't want to get into the, to the, the, the details of net neutrality, but because I, I, I have made other videos, but the point I would make about this is what I, what I suspect is going to happen with net neutrality is that some, um, some uh, um, people who, who use the internet, like Netflix, for example, are real um, bandwidth hogs. So right now, Netflix, I think, because sending high definition video over the internet is, is extremely data intensive. I mean, they're, they're close to 40% um, at any one time of actually using the internet. I think what the ISPs are gonna do, potentially, is, is charge Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime uh, you know, a little bit of money so they can, so they can easily afford to upgrade their networks. And of course, if, if Netflix doesn't like that, they're more than welcome to build their own own ISPs. But still, it's kind of the, it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Like who should, who should actually pay 
for upgrading these networks to to get all these amazing services that are coming down in the line and they're only going to get more data intensive i think it's perfectly fine for an isp to charge a netflix or an amazon a little bit extra to to pay for it rather than making everybody pay for it and and that, that's also why i just don't think you're going to see an isp saying oh if you use facebook you're going to pay this much if you if you if, if you use um youtube you're gonna to have to pay more etc cetera, etc cetera. to the consumer i don't see things changing changing very much um you know a subscriber to netflix may wind up paying a little bit more and, and that's perfectly fine and that's why the this burger king analogy is just ridiculous the other observation i'll make i just find it so fascinating that a company like Burger King would throw itself into a political debate like this. I mean, if I'm selling burgers, I want to sell it to both pro-net neutrality people and anti-net neutrality people. I want to sell it to Democrats and Republicans. I want to sell it to progressives and, cons and conservatives. Like, so I just, it, it almost makes no sense to me why they would do this. Now, if you go on to Twitter, right now you can see a lot of things like s some people um, quite like it. This is so good. Um, but other people, you know, don't like it. And, you know, it doesn't make sense to piss off potentially, you know, half the country. Um, I, I just don't think it does. Al although they are definitely getting a lot more attention. Um, but at, at the end of the day, though, I would suggest to Burger King, rather than throwing yourself into political debates, you know, why not just work on improving your burgers. I mean, I found this article where Burger King loses its crown in fast food ratings because they've been going down in quality, apparently. So it just seems to me that if, if you're really cheering Burger King for their stand in neutrality, you're being scammed. Um, they're, they're just trying to, to get your attention and trying to get you into Burger King to make it for the fact that their quality has been, has been going down. But that's what I think. I think their commercial is ridiculous, um, but obviously you're free to agree. So let me know what you think in the comments, um, both pro and con. Also take note, I'll, I'll put a link to my previous videos, which I go into the whole net neutrality thing a lot more, um, particularly the, the lack of competition among ISPs at times and why that is. But other than that though, that's it for now. And until next time.